English opening, Mykonos Carl's variation, 3, d5 4.cx d5. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. The pawn push on d5 is ready with e6, and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. The e4 square occupies space in the middle, rules the d5 and f5 squares, and promotes the development of the light squared bishop. d5 takes space in the center and attacks the e4 and c4 pawns. cx d5 captures the pawn and opens the f1 a 6 diagonal. Backs off. This strikes a rival knight. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is the last book move. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is ideal. This pins the other side's knight to the king, rendering it immobile. It is ideal. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. This defends the attacked bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is a missed chance to imply that gaining a queen is possible. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable knight. It is a mistake. This is how you win a bishop's favor. It is a wise decision. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. This takes down a weak bishop. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win a pawn. It is a great move. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to win material. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. This prevents the adversary from gaining an advantage. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is ideal. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing rook. It is excellent. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is ideal. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. By doing so, a bishop is captured and a danger is removed. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This defends the attacked rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This wins a bishop. This is the only good move. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is a great move. 
The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. That bishop was free for the taking. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This defends the attacked rook. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This gets rid of a pawn that was posing a material threat. It is ideal. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This protects a rook that was being attacked without any defense. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.